For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler. It's time for another edition of the Chris Richardson Show, currently joined by Wheeling University head men's basketball coach Chris Richardson. And Chris, you guys had a pair of tough matches this week against Charleston and West Virginia State. Talk about the fight your team showed this week and kind of what you saw from them. Yeah, two of the better teams in the league, uh, two teams that have a chance to go to the NCAA tournament and uh, you know, we're up there in the top four of the Mountain East, so we knew we were going to have our hands full going into it. I uh, knew we had to play, had to play well on both ends. Uh, and I thought at Charleston we had some uh, really good stretches on both ends, but for 40 minutes, um, you know, we just weren't able to put enough uh, complimentary basketball, put enough complimentary basketball together. Um, you know, early in the game we couldn't score and we couldn't get stops. Right? Then we started getting stops and we started scoring. And then late in the game we were scoring. Uh, but we weren't getting stops. And so uh, it was a high-level game. It was a tremendous atmosphere. Um, and, I, and I was proud of the way our guys competed, especially after getting hit in the mouth out of the gate. Um, Charleston is really good. And, you know, they had won, I think, 10 out of 11 going into that game, 9 out of 10, something like that. So uh, they were playing well, and uh, we played well, just not well enough to win that night. And then Saturday, um, there's nothing else to say. I mean, we got, we got blitzed. Um, West Virginia State came out hot. Uh, they hit some really tough shots. Credit to them. Noah Jordan was terrific. Uh, Malik Whitaker was terrific. Um, you know, they, they they really took it to us and uh, was really disappointed with our effort in the first half. I thought um, I thought we really let them kind of set the rules and uh, so challenged our team at halftime uh, from an effort standpoint and did much better. Um, you know, had some good performances last week as well. It was good to see Rafe Wikes get out there and um, you know, contribute as, as he's continued to work hard and, uh, you know, earn some playing time. And, um, you know, so there's some positives to build on as well. Uh, but we got to keep getting better and, and go back on the road this week. And you mentioned challenging your guys at halftime of that West Virginia State game. To see them respond how they did and get those 47 second half points, what did that do for your guys' confidence, kind of seeing them be able to bounce back that way? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I wasn't surprised. Um, very seldom is effort an issue with this group. And so when it is, um, you know, it needs to be it needs to be called out. And uh, I don't expect that to be an issue going forward. And if it is, we'll address it again. But um, proud of the way they responded. But when when you're down as deep as we were down at halftime, um, you got to have literally everything go your way. And to West Virginia State's credit, they continue to play really well in the second half. And you mentioned some of your freshmen, Rafe Wikes. You mentioned Caleb Murray, Kevin Coleman. They've really stepped up here as of late. Talk about this kind of freshman group and how they've mixed in with some of the veterans that you have. Yeah, it's not easy going from being a senior in high school uh, to a freshman in college. You know, the, the speed of the game is different. The physicality is different. Some of the rules are different. Um, you know, and everybody develops at their own pace. And, and I've said all along, we've got a really tight-knit group. And sometimes it can be difficult when you see your, your, your buddies, um, you know, getting playing time, getting more playing time than you are. Um, and and that, can, that can breed some tough feelings. And that, that just hasn't happened. Um, everyone's been excited for each other's success. Uh, I wish I could play everybody. But, Zach, we got 19 guys. Uh, there's five players on the floor at a time, and there's 40 minutes in a game. So that's 200 minutes in a game that uh, it's my job to split up. Um, and it keeps practice competitive when you – uh, you know, when guys like that continue to keep working and, and, and get closer and closer to being ready to contribute, when they do get that uh, opportunity, it makes you feel good to see, you know, see them have success. And so really pleased with, uh, with all our freshmen that have, that have been able to contribute. And even the guys that are redshirting um, have gotten a lot better. And so our future here is very bright, um, but we got to continue to get better in the present as well. Currently joined by Wheeling University head men's basketball coach Chris Richardson. And Chris, as you enter these final three weeks of the regular season, making that push for the MEC tournament, talk about this kind of stretch run and how your team's approaching it. Yeah, I uh, can't think too much about the big picture. You know, um, we had a really good practice this morning. That was the most exciting thing. Uh, we had a good practice yesterday morning. We had a good practice this morning. And so uh, now we'll get, uh, get in the vans and drive, uh, you know, about five hours down to Concord, down to Princeton tonight, stay the night. And, um, you know, go play a really tough and talented Concord team tomorrow at their place. So uh, we got to keep, like like Coach Bruni always says, keep stacking days. We've stacked two good days together to start the week um, despite having a bad day on Saturday. So uh, we, we've had a good Monday. We've had a good Tuesday. Now we got to have a good Wednesday um, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll, we'll address when we get there. And you mentioned Concord here on Wednesday and then Glenville State coming up down the road. This week, talk about these two teams that you're going to see and how they kind of match up. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Concord played us here, and it was a, it was a great game, as it almost always is when we play them. It's always, uh, you know, a, a one or two possession game, one way or the other. 
Um, you know, two years ago they came up here and, and got us uh, on the last possession. Last year we got them on the last possession. Um, down at their place we got behind and then uh, were able to turn them over and get back in the game last year. Uh, this year we got ahead and then they came roaring back. So we got to do a lot of things better than we did in that first game. Uh, we had chances. Um, we just didn't take advantage of them. And then uh, we got to limit their chances. You know, we got we to gotta hold them to one shot. Um, and we got to influence the types of shots that they get. So uh, it, it'll be a good game. Uh, Coach May does a great job. And Saturday, uh, Coach Caldwell, uh, you know, got a really talented team coming in here. And we'll worry about that later in the week. But as we always say, man, it's just another week in the Mountain East. Uh, you're going to play uh, two tough, physical, aggressive teams um, with, with, with good talent and good coaching. So that's, that's what we signed up for. And finally, talk about some of your keys to success here as you reach this end of the year and kind of what, you got, what you're looking for your guys to do out there. Yeah, uh, when we've moved the ball, we've been really, really good offensively. We've been efficient. Um, our, sh our shooting percentage has been better. Our effective field goal percentage, which factors in the three, has been better. Um, you know, when we move the ball and we get inside and then kick it back out, uh, whether that's off a drive, a post up, or even a cut, um, you know, we've been really good. Uh, and so we got to continue to play inside out basketball uh, in whichever way that, uh, that we can on, on a particular possession. And then defensively, we just got to be way more consistent. Um, and like I said about the UC game, play complimentary basketball, string together stops and scores. Uh, and if we do that, we'll be in good shape. But we've we got to be more consistent with doing that. Thanks, Chris. Good luck this week. Can't wait to see you out there. Thanks, Zach. Go Cards. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler.